Good morning and welcome to Supercars of London and day two. And Sam's head is there. Are you excited for today? Yeah, it's going to be good. I mean, I've driven that road to Vegas like four times. But not in this car. Why are you putting that face? I thought we were getting something sick. Are you fucking uh, yeah, it is sick. It's definitely sick. Um, so the time is, what is the time now? It's about 8 a.m. or something? 10 to 8. I woke up at 3.40 a.m. which is 10.40 UK time so my body clock still is taking some time to adjust so we are now heading out getting breakfast going to pick up the car that I have rented for Sam to drive me to Vegas and then when we get to Vegas we're going to exotic driving experiences are going on their desert tour but more of that to come very very soon right now we need to grab our backs jump in an Uber get to breakfast jump in another Uber and get our rental car Good morning, America. Blue sky in November. That's what it's all about. You look quite tanned in that light as well. Oh, I am tanned. <laughs> Just possibly racing a black Dodge Charger. They're racing? Yeah. The Dodge Charger didn't stop. Researching how to drive a motorbike. Oh, I'd be excited if it was a motorbike. Would you? Yeah, I'd be so happy. Good time. But it's not. You taking me? Well, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? He's filming a BMW. What do you think? What do you think, mate? What do you think, Colin? Do you know how long this drive is? <laughs> how long? You think it's funny? It's, it's a good GT car. Like... <laughs> so I decided, rather than M4, I thought we'd go for the four-door because I did like the S3. He's, he's not look, talking to me. The S3, the RS3, I like the four-door and I think the M3 looks cool. Squatter, it's fatter. Sam's getting those angles. Behind the scenes of Sam's video. Happy? Yeah, mate, it's going to be great. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. You actually don't mind the M3 compared to the M4. Yeah, yeah, I have to say, it's definitely better than the M4. See, I was kind of kind. You got my shot. Hold on, let me get my shot. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh. Black, no front plate, the chrome needs to go. Approximately about 20 minutes, 24 minutes, Sam Satnav is saying, and you are driving me directly to exotic driving experiences. I am indeed. Which I'm bloody excited about because a really, really sort of weird circle of YouTube has come around. So my first supercar, I went down to Premier Velocity. The director of Premier Velocity now lives in America and helps run exotic driving experiences, which is incredibly weird, and he's invited me down to go on their desert tour and take a muscle car and a supercar into the desert and, t and check out the scenery and stuff. The exciting part is that they have got a Shelby GT350, which is not available in the UK, but a car that I am a massive fan of. So I'm definitely gonna select that car. Maybe I'd take the Corvette, not that Corvette, but they've got a Corvette. But they've also got Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and and lots of cool cars, so I'm excited about exotic driving experiences and uh, getting to Vegas. This is pretty insane. We have arrived in Vegas. We haven't even driven down the strip, and I'm pretty sure our hotel is that building there. Sam has just come and dropped me off to exotic driving experiences where they do muscle and supercar tours, or they call it exotic tours, um, into the desert and all around. They also do the rental stuff. Um, and obviously Steve has invited me down to drive the selection of cars that they've got. And they've got a few other cars inside which aren't available to drive today. 
and this is pretty last minute because the Shelby GT350 is so brand new, it has done zero miles. I've got the key here, it isn't even registered, they're waiting for the registration documents to come through today, so it could mean that I come back here in a couple of days and drive that car. It is still up in the air, but I'm definitely driving this car. Uh, seeing as I've got the key to the Shelby, let's take a quick look around this car because you don't get it in the UK, so this is a rare opportunity for me to uh, have a look inside. We have got suede inserts down, uh, down the inside of the car. Oh, suede steering wheel, Alcantara steering wheel. This is a special car. Oh my god. And of course, manual gearbox. The sun is shining. The Shelby GT350 is registered. Exotic driving experience check-in and safety briefing done. We're going to Lake Mead National Park, I'm pretty sure. It's about a 20-minute drive. So I've decided that I'm gonna drive there in the Ferrari 458 Spider and then I'm gonna jump in the Shelby GT350 and drive that car. I'm also gonna ask whether I can come back on Friday and film a separate video of that, actually taking it for a proper test and talking about it as a daily and whether I could get a Ford Mustang because they are available in the UK, right-hand drive, but not the Shelby GT350. So right now, <laughs> looking at the last 24 to 36 hours, I took a flight to LA, I got picked up by Sam in a bro, oh, there's a white hurricane there, damn it, I missed it. Got picked up in an orange hurricane spider. Then had an evening in Los Angeles, which was incredible, and Sunset Boulevard and Beverly Hills. Driven to Las Vegas in a BMW M3, and now driving a Ferrari 458 spider. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I've just had a thought. We're headed to a place in the middle of a desert called Lake Mead. I haven't seen water, apart from in here, since we left Los Angeles. How can there be a lake here? We are in! This place is un... is stop number one and we're here Lake Mead one of the coolest places I have ever seen and with this car behind me that only means one thing I've ditched the 488 Spider and I'm jumping in at the Shelby GT350 this is the first time I'm gonna get behind the wheel of one of my dream cars and it's like an obtainable dream car as well because even though you get so much for your money in America people are amazed at just how cheap this car is I don't even know what the list price is but I know that it's Definitely under a hundred grand, definitely under a hundred thousand. But, uh, this, is the, this is the view at the moment. Here we go. This is the first mile in the Shelby GT350. I'm just lowering the seat a little bit. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
totally different to the Ferrari, but... Oh, the sound is phenomenal. And to be honest, the gearbox is incredibly easy to use. It's got a lovely sporty setting that's like stiff, but still very easy to use and incredibly light as well. taken the shortest route to drive the Shelby GT350 just so that I can get a feel for it because I'm going to come back to exotic driving experiences on Friday and do a proper drive and review of this car. I'm going to be able to take it wherever I want. They're going to give me the keys and I'm going to be able to do whatever I want with it. Um, and that is where I'm going to talk about should the Mustang replace the Audi A1. Not a Shelby GT350 because can't get them in the UK and if I wanted to I'll probably have to wait 18 months to two years before one gets built and then I'm gonna have to import it over so it is good fun though the mad thing is is that I'm already used to the left-hand drive, right-hand manual gear shift. In the Ford Focus RS, I really didn't get used to it. And whenever anyone asked me how was it, I said I can't really tell because <laughs> I just didn't get used to it. But... And then like, rev match as well. I'm, I'm doing that myself. Bangs. Just keeps on revving as well. It revs to just over 8,000 RPM. Ah! Oh, I just want to drive this car all the time. back I took a ride in the Camaro so that I could do all of the tracking controls that you would have seen um, throughout the bit of the video um, that I drove the Shelby GT350 that fingers crossed I get another opportunity to drive and the 458 Spider. there is a very nice Corvette Z06 here as well and basically a stone throw away that way is the Vegas Strip and that building there is the hotel that we're staying in. So Sam is there now. I'm gonna grab a ride back with the exotic driving experiences now. They're gonna drop me off at the hotel and then uh, and then I'm gonna uh, check out the hotel room. <laughs> 